All right, how you guys doing? I'm going to show you the concept for the new game I'm working on. I call it the Great Arcade Adventure. This is going to be your opening screen. Of course, keep in mind a lot of the graphics, backgrounds, and things like that scene are going to change dramatic or dramatically uh, as we go along. A lot of these are just kind of placeholders and things so I could set the game mechanics in place. Our opening screen, you'll meet our little avatar guy here, the little fan guide uh, guy I created. Cool little animation there at the beginning, and the story's going to open up with a uh, Mega Man or Mega Guy, as we'll call him in this game, showing up and telling us how all the game worlds have begun merging. And um, he needs our help to go through and start sorting things out and uh, see what's happening. Yada yada yada, there will be a big introduction storyline part here, and then let's move into the game. Again, those glasses are just a placeholder for the actual object. Now this will be your main game area. You see every time you enter your home, you'll have the option to save or load your game. Right now it's locally stored. I'm looking into um, going ahead and putting online saves in so that you'll always be able to recover your progress. Um, one real cool thing here, like I said, a lot of what I've done so far is putting game mechanics into place and stuff. This game is uh, touch screen enabled. I went ahead and created my own little virtual joystick here for that. But this will be your player's home and the main area that you will always open into the game. Um, you'll see here, this is basically, you're going to have a big old house here. A uh, bunch of stuff going on. First thing down here, you're going to have a private little closet area. Again, keep in mind the house is not designed at all. I haven't added any rooms or like decorated at all. I just setting the game mechanics. But you'll have a closet with all the unlocked uh, outfits you get as you go through the game. You'll be able to unlock special outfits and characters to use. Uh, your closet area in the home, you'll actually be able to change outfits. As you can see there, we popped on our cool little... Mega Man outfit. Now he's not animated yet. Of course, like I said, I've got a lot of graphical work and things to do, but game mechanic wise, that's one of the first cool features is you'll be able to go through the game, collect outfits, and actually change into them in your house. Walk around whatever you want to wear. Now, another part of the game is going to be a little arcade room. Um, you can see those little symbols there. Again, those are placeholders. Those will actually be little miniaturized arcade machines. And as we go through the game, we're going to unlock new arcade machines with new game types that we can try to compete um, for high scores and to unlock more suits and things like that. So again, you'll have like, instead of just all being in one big room like this, I'll create a little separate area that's your actual arcade room and your closet and things like that. So let's go ahead and jump into one of our first little previews of a level here. And these levels are barely started. They have a lot of work to be done on them. Um, you can see here, we've got a customized menu, which, uh, enables us to actually switch characters during the, um, actual game, which is pretty cool, and you saw that home button, so like here, our point is, just grab these little fan guide points or whatever, and, uh, not doing too good trying to film and stuff here. You can see this will be one of the types of levels. Now the whole idea behind this game is that it's not just one type of game. There we go. And that should have unlocked one of our suits, actually. Let's go check it out. And there it is. You see a third suit now available. We can go ahead and use that. Now, um, again, like I said, uh, a lot of this stuff really needs to be worked on graphics-wise and things like that, but... The real cool part about this game is that it's not just one specific type of game. The whole point is that we're going to be going through many different types of levels. They could be anything from a level like you just saw to something more like this, which will be a platform style game. We'll go through the level like that. Again, you'll see now that we've unlocked our other character here, we're actually able to switch which character we're using which is pretty cool. It took a lot of game mechanic playing around. Again, like I said, this past week or two, I've set a lot of game mechanics in place for being able to do this. So uh, hopefully you guys find that pretty cool. Again there, so we can go ahead and head back to our home. We want to save or load the game. Of course, we want to save now that we're unlocked. Again, now that we went ahead and unlocked that uh, initial suit, or that 
fall suit. See, it's available in this area now. And uh, one thing about each character, too, is you see now this character actually jumps higher and he has a uh, double jump ability. So each character that you collect, all these suits actually have special abilities that, according to what type of game you're playing, can help you. So you're going to want to pick and choose your outfits and abilities to kind of boost your high scores in each one of those types of game areas. Uh, another quick little thing I want to tell you guys about is um, I'm getting ready to start working the mechanics out for it um, actually tonight is that you see this big house area well one real cool thing about it is as we pop up the menu I don't think I have it in place yeah I do well that menu will turn into a multi-layered menu which means I'll have a button here to select to go into another menu and one of the menus I'm going to give you guys is a drag and drop edible or editable house which means you'll actually be able to um, decorate your house the way you want it to. You'll click a menu button, which will set, you know, like the player and other things inactive, and it'll give you a whole list of um, things that you can buy to move around your house. It'll be drag and drop either with the mouse or um, on touch screen devices. You'll be able to just select them and drag them and place them wherever you want in the house. Hit set and uh, decorate your house like that. I actually plan on probably offering multiple types of homes that you can purchase and switch between. Um, increase your arcades, your outfits, things like that. So um, definitely got a lot more graphical work to do. But um, as you can see now, many of the major game mechanics as far as being able to switch between characters, unlock them, unlock new um, arcade levels and things like that, which are really the more complicated, more major parts, are all finally in place. I've got the, everything working smoothly now. I've played through it probably 50 times trying to find bugs in the character switching. Everything looks pretty good. Of course I'll be hoping to get a couple of uh, beta testers before I fully release everything but that's basically the gist of it. I got a couple other cool little functions and things that I'm going to throw into it but um, again like I said as we start going through some of those levels you saw the first two which are going to actually be very um, Farly expanded into a couple levels per arcade, so it won't be just the one level like that. Like the falling level might have three to five levels you have to beat before you beat that machine and unlock that outfit. And um, we might come across like an Angry Bird style game, but with like a pong twist where there's a pong ball flying back and forth that could destroy you or anything like that. You know, game worlds colliding, um, you know, maybe see some uh, famous characters showing up in each other's games, of course, copyright. Um, reasons we'll have to kind of tweak them a little bit and call them something different make it a bit of a parody but you guys will get the idea it should be a lot of fun classic journey through all the classic arcade styles some of the newer mobile game styles and uh, increasing everything as you go I plan to offer in-app purchases to be able to buy extra tokens and things which you'll use to purchase uh, outfits and power-ups maybe extra lives for certain arcade machines and things like that so uh, that's the first part of it now. As things progress a little bit, I'll give you guys another preview or update of how it's coming along in a week or two and uh, see where it goes from there. I hope to have the first version of this out within maybe a month or two. We'll have the first two to three arcade machines and the first uh, two or three characters totally ready and everything all looking nice and neat with the graphics. And from there on, I've set up my game to where it'll be fairly easy to uh, add in characters or levels at this point so once all the game mechanics are set now I can just focus on graphics and once that's done adding in new characters and levels which should be a lot easier in the future since I set myself up good from the beginning so that's the end of it uh, looking forward to hearing any feedback you guys might have and uh, looking forward to showing you where it ends up see you later